The report is uh, covering our investigation that we've made in uh, Tambura and uh, Budue State in Western Equatoria, where government forces and uh, IO Rick Marshall forces have uh, targeted civilians in that uh, specific conflict. And we were able to document that the IO Rick Marshall have abducted like uh, 900 people. Majority of them are uh, women and children. There were some forced recruitment, but also a number of girls who were uh, abducted and raped. The abduction are very worrisome because the majority of them are still in the hands of the captors. But what is important for us is to make sure that they should be released as soon as possible. In the meantime, as I said earlier, the children were forced to be recruited possibly by the IO, but I think is the more important concern is about what has happened to the young girls. Girls who sometimes are only uh, 12 years old and they were uh, chosen as wise for the military. They had to parade before in front of them and then they could really choose whoever they wanted and they used them and uh, they were of course uh, doing the rape and also uh, sexual slavery. The issue of accountability remains uh, one of the main topics in, agenda in uh, South Sudan where we are not yet there and this is really something that needs to be addressed very quickly. Of course, one of the recommendations is also to make sure that uh, there is a, a program to make sure that uh, recovery and resilience for uh, people in this particular area uh, is going to be taken into account. There is a very good program that was initiated by the UN that should be implemented with the support of the entire UN. And that, I think that will help also for the youth to get some uh, job opportunities because it's also about that. But I think the main recommendation is about accountability.